It's a twist in the eye drop murder case that's getting national attention. Joshua Hunsucker is a former paramedic accused of poisoning his wife with Visine. We've learned he is also linked to a medical helicopter that was forced to make an emergency landing after someone set a fire on board. WCNC Charlotte's Alex Shabbat is live tonight with the details. Alex, that fire happened a few weeks before Hunsucker's arrest on murder charges. That's right, Fred. It was back in November when officers arrived here on scene on East Independence Boulevard after that helicopter was forced to land because of a fire and with a man on board who was charged with murder now in another case. Hey, do you have any calls reference like a helicopter? Landing on the side of Independence Boulevard. An Atrium Health helicopter forced to land just weeks before Joshua Hunsucker was charged with murdering his wife. Police say someone intentionally set fire to a syringe pump while in flight. Uh, it looks like it's one of the CMC's aircraft. It looks like it's landed over here for some reason. Officers responded to the scene just before one in the morning on November 26th. We've learned Hunsucker, a paramedic at the time, was on board the flight. Then in December, we saw him in court accused of murdering Stacy Hunsucker. Investigators say he used eye drops to poison his wife in 2018. And after an interrogation, prosecutors said there was enough information to arrest him. I don't know that he would characterize it as uh, a confession, but it certainly approached uh, that level, Your Honor. During court, Hunsucker's attorney said they would be taking the case to trial. We anticipate that this case will be uh, strenuously opposed. Hunsucker was a paramedic at Atrium Health, but was fired on December 20th. An Instagram account matching his name and likeness shows him in a flight paramedic uniform. Back in court, we heard from Kelly Kruger, who says she knew Stacy since high school. She did not deserve for this to happen to her. She was a great mother. She was a happy person. In response to the helicopter arson, Atrium Health sent us a statement reading, We are cooperating with law enforcement on an investigation. We would not want to do or say anything that might interfere with that. Any information would be best served coming from them. And at this point, no word about anyone being charged in connection to that helicopter arson. We will keep you updated as we find out more. Live in Charlotte, Alex Shabad, WCNC Charlotte.